the last few decades, market foods have become, you know, very quickly in, in a short period of time, a much greater proportion of people's, of the foods that people are consuming. The younger people losing their taste for traditional food. They're growing up on diets that are based on, on store-bought foods. People are eating foods that are nutritionally inferior. And as a result, we're seeing higher rates of risk factors for chronic disease. Um, and so it's very important for us to promote traditional lifestyles. And at the same time, though, we are also, we, we spend a lot of our time trying to help people learn how to make good choices from the foods that are available in the marketplace. For example, muktuk is so rich in nutrients, it's almost closer to being a fruit or vegetable uh, when we talk about the nutrient value of those foods. People also would eat, for example, the stomach contents of caribou, so they would get some vitamins and minerals that we would normally find in plant food. By eating all the parts of an animal, we know that Inuit were able to get all of the nutrients that we consider to be healthy.